welcome back to the channel. My name is April, mom of one seven month old Riley. Riley just made seven months on yesterday, so I wanted to take some time to give you guys my three to six month must haves. This is everything that we've used on a daily basis over the last 90 days. Um, I will have all of the products linked in the description box below for your convenience. So let's just jump right into it. Number one, the Fisher Price Sit Me Up Seat. This thing is a godsend. It's a wonderful seat where you can sit your baby um, if you need to. We used it, honestly, as a high chair. Before we got our Juvie high chair, we put Riley in it to give her her cereal. It, we did opt for the one with the tray on the front. We put teether crackers and teether toys on the front. It's a great place to sit your baby once they've outgrown the Bobby newborn lounger. And that is why I purchased it because she was getting too big for the Bobby newborn lounger. Number two, the Boppy breastfeeding pillow. I did not use this thing at all during the first three months of Riley's life. I did not really care for it as a breastfeeding pillow. However, in the three to six month uh, range, it's been a game changer for prop seating, for tummy time. I will insert some pictures of Riley sitting in it and how we use it both ways, but we use it all the time. Um, next thing, a jumper. You don't necessarily need a jumper, but you want one. We have two. We have the uh, Baby Einstein's uh, Neptune's jumper, which is like an aqua themed jumper. And then we also have a Fisher Price jumper -roo, um, in like zoo themed. I don't know. It's like wild animals, animal safari. I might have made that up. It's animals. <laughs> Uh, jumpers are just great. It's a great place for Riley to play. She loves the lights. She loves the colors. I love that I can put her in it while I am tidying up downstairs and she is happy. I can see her everywhere downstairs and she can see me. So we're both really comfortable. Number four, water teethers. Uh, Riley started teething right around three months even though she still has no teeth and when i say started teething i'm talking excessive drooling and really wanting to uh chew on things so i got several different kinds of water teethers but the very best one is from the first years and it only cost three dollars get a couple your baby will thank you it is such a good teether it's soft it's malleable she can hold it she can chew it she loves it um, we also use some by Munchkin brand, which are pretty good. So I'll link them both in the description box below. Sophie La Giraffe. We love Sophie. Riley chews up Sophie almost every day. Uh, Sophie is just another kind of teether. It's the giraffe teether. Her head squeaks. Um, Riley's not here, so I don't have Sophie. Sophie went with Riley to my mom. <laughs> Her head squeaks um, and then each little leg is like perfectly um, shaped for your baby to chew on. It's a really, really great teether toy and your baby will get lots of um, lots of pleasure playing with it. And there are books that go with it. There's like a Sophie La Giraffe story that goes with it. Um, next thing, you're going to need lots and lots of bibs. During 36 months, your baby is going to be drooling, drooling, and drooling. So we have quite a few different kinds of bibs. I personally really like the Hanes bibs because they've got kind of like a plasticky backing and like uh, fabric on the front. But as I sit in this chair, we also used a lot of these little bandana style bibs because they could sit right up under her chin and catch the drool. So either way you go, you need bibs. The next thing is a high chair. We have the Juvie Nook, which is a space-saving collapsible high chair. We also have the Graco Slim Snacker, another like compact high chair. But once your baby gets into purees and solids, you really do want um, a nice sturdy high chair where baby can be comfortable, something that they can grow with. And the Juvie is really nice because we'll be able to use it until, uh, until she's a toddler, you know, well into like one and two. Um, let's see. Number nine. I don't think I've been doing the numbers consistently, but number nine. <laughs> teething gel. 
I purchased Aura Gel, Teething Gel. It's non-medicated because um, I'm not a big fan of giving unnecessary medications, but it's kind of like a cooling sensation. And I got the two pack that comes in the daytime and the nighttime. I have not used the nighttime yet. We haven't had any teething discomfort at night, but the daytime is absolutely a hit. Number 10, baby food pouches. If you are going to make your own baby food, and I do make Riley's baby food from time to time, um, you need somewhere to store that baby food. So I do have like little baby Tupperwares from Nook and Munchkin brand, but honestly, you get the best bang from your buck out of the squeezy pouches. It's so much easier for baby to eat, and it's super easy to fill. They've got a wide zipper at the bottom, um, you pour your baby food in, you zip them, they can go in the freezer, they can go in the dishwasher, they cannot go in the microwave. Number 11, the crawling bear. Uh, we have a little bear, he sings a little song like, uh, I can't think of what he says, he's like, I'm a little happy bear and I love to crawl. And he just crawls around on the floor, kind of showing your baby how to crawl. Um, Riley is not yet crawling, even though she just turned seven months the other day, but she is trying her damnedest to follow this little bear. So if you've got a baby who seems like they're interested in crawling, but they haven't quite figured out how to get going, I encourage you to use this toy um, during tummy time and when you're on the carpet. It just crawls around and it gives your baby some incentive to get moving. Number 12. Um, Munchkin bowls and spoons. As I mentioned, in addition to uh, the pouches, we store Riley's baby food in Tupperwares from Nook and from Munchkin. But I want to specifically recommend to you guys the Munchkin bowl and spoon sets. I bought, uh, you get four bowls, two spoons per set. And I got two so that I could share them with uh, Riley's grandmothers. So we all have the same bowls and spoons. My only complaint about these, and I just want to be fully transparent, the spoon, the like the part of the spoon that goes in your mouth or Riley's mouth is a little bit hard in my opinion. I've seen some softer silicone baby silverware out there, but she seems to really, really like it and they wash up nice uh, wash up really nicely. I have not put them in the dishwasher, but the quality seems to be on par uh, with what you would expect. So Number 13, can you believe we're on 13? Teething keys. These are the newbie teething keys. You get like five little keys. They kind of look like cactuses. I didn't know they were keys. Honestly, I thought they were cactuses when I first saw them. But they are keys on a little baby key ring and it is such a fun teether. Each key has a different texture. Um, sorry if half this list is teething related, but from three to six months, you will see. A good chunk of your time is spent on teething activity okay so we really like the teething keys from newbie check them out they're linked in the description box below um number 14 crinkle paper i mentioned it in riley's six month baby update um she loves crinkle paper i i love crinkle paper because it can go in the wash i can wash it by hand it's super easy to clean our crinkle paper came with our Neptune jumper, but I also there's also a bit of crinkle paper attached to the jumper roux. Um, but you can, I will link in the description box below, some books that are exclusively made of crinkle paper. It's a really fun sensory activity. Your baby's going to love the sound and the ability to create that sound by like rubbing the pages together. All right, we just got three more things, y'all. I'm going to get through it. The O-Ball. The O-Ball was Riley's very first toy. I bought it right when she made three months and I really like the O-Ball because it really helped her work on grabbing things and her grasp. It is a ball that's like, it's not a teether, but it's like a ball with a rattle in it and it's got several holes, um, several holes all around the outside to make it very easy for baby to grasp and grab and so as we were working with her on grabbing and pulling things to herself that was a really killer toy that we used probably more so in months three and four than we did five and six but still totally worth getting it's under ten dollars and it's a really 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 fun toy um i don't know we're on 16 video we got a video baby monitor um, we started sleep training when Riley was five months old. Prior to that, we were co-sleeping, and so I didn't really have 
a baby monitor set up in the nursery because she wasn't sleeping in here and in our room when she took naps in her bassinet I did use just a standard old school VTEC audio um, baby monitor to hear her um, very straightforward but now that we've transitioned her into her room for my comfort and for hers the more for mine we switched to a video style monitor by Avstar that I got off of Amazon I absolutely love it I didn't want to shell out the cash for uh, the infant optics honestly but this one comes with a lot of features it tells you the temperature in your baby's room it plays lullabies um, it has night vision um, it has a like five inch LCD screen as well as digital zoom and then we have it mounted over her crib but it's got a 360 degree pivot on it so you can take a look at the entire nursery while your baby is in there so I really 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 liked that and last but certainly not least something I got well before Riley was born we have been loving the Tula uh, baby carrier it's the Tula free to grow I think yeah Tula free to grow um, baby carrier. We have the stars pattern. Um, I love it. It's so comfortable. When Riley was little, I wore it while she was front facing, but I didn't leave the house much before the first three months. Recently, I've been going to walk the trail. I can wear her front facing, like facing out, and she can see the ducks. She can see the park. She is comfortable, and I have been suffering a lot of back pain um, postpartum, and it has been a godsend for the back pain. It is more comfortable to wear her in the carrier than it is to kind of carry her on my hip now that she's over 15 pounds. So that is it, you guys. That's kind of everything we've been using on a daily basis from three to six months. Again, the bulk of these things are for teething. I would say that was like the big difference from zero to three to three to six was uh, introducing toys and teethers. Um, so I hope this is beneficial to you and your baby. If you have any questions about these products, feel free to DM me. All of the links are in the description box below, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.